Hello and welcome to the France 24 interview. Our guest today is Russian theater and film director Kirill Serebretnikov. He uh, joins us uh, from Berlin in Germany, where he arrived last week from Russia. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you so much. Thank you, you for inviting Sure. Uh, you are uh, now in Berlin after uh, a court in Moscow canceled a three-year suspended jail sentence that was handed down back in June 2020 for alleged embezzlement, a charge that you have always uh, denied. So you're now in Germany. Uh, what are your plans? Are you planning to go back to Russia or stay in Western Europe for the foreseeable future? Uh I'm here for work. I have uh, pretty much work uh, since got in uh, Germany, in France as well. Uh, I've been in Paris for um, having talks and negotiation with uh, uh, Opera Bastille. Uh, in the, for now, we are preparing opera for Amsterdam. Uh, High shoes, by the way, um, gonna start in April. Late, it'll be. Uh, Mm, festival mm, in Cannes, I have no idea about whether we participate or not, but definitely we're going to take part in uh, mm, Avignon uh, Theatre Festival with a um, Thalia German production called La uh, Schwarze Mönch, or Czorny Manach, based on Chekhov. And it's uh, very important for us because it As I was told, I'm the first director who works in Palais de Pop um, on this uh, huge and extraordinary, uh, important for the global theater stage. Right. Uh, I, I, I understand. So you have a very busy schedule. Uh, uh, I want to go back to, uh, to the situation for you in Russia. Were you told essentially uh, to leave and not to come back because uh, you have sometimes taken part in anti-government protest? Uh, and in another uh, related question, do you think the trial against you was essentially a political trial? Uh, I would love to say that I I'm here for work and I have no idea about the future completely because you know what tragedy happens now in uh, Ukraine and in Russia and uh, the war uh, I, I I think the war breaks all possible schedules and we can't build any plans for future anymore uh, each day we I, I live like this day it's enough. Uh, we'll see what will be tomorrow and nothing else. So for now, I'm here in Western Europe uh, and happy to have a lot of job. But at the same moment, my heart belongs to uh, my country uh, where people suffering as well and to Ukrainian where pe people are uh, suffering under the bombs, under um, the terrible, terrible war uh, cir circumstances and uh, they in this moment, uh, people uh, kill other people, uh, are killing other people, and it, it's, it breaks my heart. And um, right. uh, it's, it's terrible. Right. It's tragic. Uh, you, you used a word uh, that's not uh, being used in Russia. You used the word war uh, to describe the situation in Ukraine. As you well know, uh, it's called a special military operation in Russia. Uh, you haven't really spoken about uh, your opinion on what's happening in uh, Ukraine. Uh, you said it breaks your uh, heart. But more than that, I mean, what do you think is happening there? It's it's war. It's killing people. It's uh, the worst thing ever might happen with the Uh, civilization with mankind with uh, everything it's a humanitarian catastrophe it's uh, rivers of blood it's uh, terrible uh, the name of this is uh, Bucha for instance or have Marupa. you seen those images Kirill yeah of course I I, I see everything I have, have um, kind of connection with the people uh, in Ukraine in Russia and look I, I would say that People in Russia are suffering of uh, powerlessness, of uh, being not possible to stop all these terrible events. Um, as far as you know, in, in Russia, it's not allowed to pronounce the world war. 
so uh, it, it's 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 really it's really tragedy. I know uh, that it's easy to start the war, but probably it's not really easy to stop it. And uh, the war might uh, transfer into hatred, into worth things ever, and will destroy uh, our um, kind of hearts, our lives, our careers, everything. So uh, uh, even if, 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 if it, will be, it will be over physically, the mentally and emotionally, the war will continue for a long, long time, for many years. And all images we, we can see right now, it's it's really terrible. I, I, Who do you I, blame, Kirill? For, in the West, Vladimir Putin is blamed uh, for uh, starting this war, uh, this invasion of uh, Ukraine. But look, it's quite obvious that Russia started the war. It's not Ukraine that started the war. It's Russia started the war and started this hot phase of the war. Started uh, making the war think ever to kill the people. I'm... I'm uh, uh, theater director, film director. I'm Buddhist. I, I'm strictly against killing people. It's something out of my understanding. I can't get it completely. Uh, so not, the thing ever. Right. Uh, one of the consequences has been uh, for uh, Russian culture, Russian artists to be uh, somehow uh, boycotted. Uh, and there are a few examples of uh, a movement. Uh, the Russian filmmaker Kirill Sokolov uh, had a movie taken off the Glasgow Film Festival, despite the fact that he opposes uh, the war in uh, Ukraine. Uh, the Cannes Film Festival announced it would not invite any Russian official delegation. What is your take on this? I mean, is it the right reaction? Is it an emotional reaction? Or is it simply wrong to put everyone in the same basket? Mark, look, it's wrong, of course. It's not possible to boycott or to stop culture. We've been in a place where uh, uh, culture, uh, because of nationality, was cancelled. It's not right point. We, we, it's not good, really. Uh, the, I can understand what's happening because the, in in the moment of in on, in the moment of uh, war, it's clear that uh, Ukrainians take uh, Russian films, Russian productions, Ru Rus Russian artists as a part of soft power, as they say. And uh, I understand them. I understand them. I I can accept this. I probably um, even. Think that it might be pose somehow somehow a pose uh, in 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 the war period, but boycotting uh, um, uh, taking the boycott on culture or or on artists, it's not the right way completely because the culture should be the last first and large last bridge in connecting people and uh, uh, canceling anything uh, because of nationality, it, 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 the experience uh, the mankind already had. Right. Uh, so you mentioned uh, the Avignon uh, Theatre uh, Festival. It's obviously a very important one. And uh, you're supposed to open it uh, with uh, this theatre piece, uh, The Black Monk. Uh, are you going to be in person in Avignon? Would it be an important statement for you because of what we've just discussed? Of course, sure, uh, I'll be there. It's very uh, important uh, moment of my life and of, of the life of my colleagues and of the life of uh, Talia Theatre. Uh, uh, this production of Talia Theatre, I would, would love to repeat. And uh, uh, it's Chekhov, it's uh, Russian, American, uh, German, uh, Armenian, uh, and other nationalities on stage. For me, it's very important to show the uh, theater uh, als Welt, theater as a, as a world, theater as a as a uh, as being together, as something that connects people and not destroying their lives or killing them. Right.
Uh, just uh, as a last question, you also mentioned uh, the Calm Film Festival uh, twice. Uh, you could not attend in 2018 when your movie Leto uh, was featured again in 2021 for Petrov's uh, flu because you had uh, your legal problems uh, in uh, Russia. Uh, are you hoping uh, maybe to be invited uh, this year? I know there's a talk of uh, your latest movie. Uh, it, would it be uh -huh. a nice symbol for you? <laughs> Look, but it's I, I don't want to press anyone. Uh, it, it's it will be completely the decision of the festival uh, to invite us or not to invite. Uh, I know that the film about the Tchaikovsky, about Tchaikovsky's wife, called Tchaikovsky's wife, is very important for me, and it's a result of a lot of years of uh, searches of uh, uh, working with the amazing one of the best for me uh, in the world, the team I have uh, for making the films. So I, 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 I absolutely happened that we finished it, and I hope, but <clears throat> it's it will be the decision of of. Uh, uh, can't film festival. Okay. Let's wait for, for a while. Kirill Serebretnikov, I want to thank you very much uh, for being with much. us uh, here on the France 24 interview from uh, Berlin. And I want to thank you all for watching it. Stay tuned for more news.